Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So very, very quick video just to show you something I've just discovered. So those of you that have iPhones already, you'll know that the easiest way to send a video or a photo to another iPhone user is by doing AirDrop. If you send something through WhatsApp, it reduces the quality, so it's always best to send through AirDrop. Now, I've got an Android phone, my first Android phone, and I've also got an iPhone, and I wanted to basically send a file between the two, and I didn't want it to lose any quality, I didn't want to have to try and attach it to an email, because, well, the file I was trying to send was 600 megabytes, so it was quite a big file as well, so I'd have to, like, attach it to um, a Dropbox or something, I couldn't just do it directly to the email. So anyway, I found out a way of basically airdropping between Android and iPhone, and I thought I'd share it. So you want to open the Safari or browser on both of them, and you want to type in snapdrop.net, S-N-A-P, drop.net. So you need to open that on both devices. So go to that website on both devices, snapdrop.net and now it tells you on here you are known as and it says you are known as and then it picks up the ones that are in range so if you have other people that are logged into snapdrop.net it will also pick them up as well and it's very very simple so on the android i just select my device select my files images select an image that I want to send, done, and now it basically airdrops it to my iPhone. Very, very quickly, save, view, and there you have it, it's on the phone. And it works the other way around as well, you can send from iPhone to Samsung, just click that one, photo album, select whatever you want to send over, add, and then you've got it on the other device. Click save. Extremely quick, very, very simple. Basically an airdrop function between Android and Apple. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you found this was useful. Let me know in the comments if you already knew this and I'll see you in the next video.